How's it going, everybody? I am going to hopefully teach a few people who need help how to fix Wolfenstein New Order uh, graphics in order to work. Actually, doesn't have a lot to do with these settings here. Uh, I'm just showing you what I'm running. I'm running uh, actually an older video card, a GTX 480, which isn't bad, but it's pretty old. And uh, a Phenom 2 quad core at around 4 gigahertz, 3.96 or something gigahertz. So, uh, not the most powerful hardware in the world. Um, here, let's let's go back to the previous screen. I can show you. I'm running a 1920 by 1200 full screen. Uh, so, I'm actually running fairly close to max settings. I have uh, had the shadow resolution turned down uh, to the middle one, I think. Um, I have that uh, turned down to the middle one also and most other stuff is at high um, screen space resolution I could probably or reflection I could probably turn that up too if I wanted to but most of the stuff is uh, is high to medium settings um, mostly high actually uh, and uh, when I first started off running almost minimal settings I was getting maybe seven or eight frames per second it was really really bad uh, so all you have to do um, unfortunately I can't show you because I only have game recording software but uh, it's real easy um, you go to your game your game folder which is usually program files x86 or program file, you know whatever program files or it might be your steam common files um, depending on how you got the game and go to the executable file it will say uh, it will say wolf new order underscore x64 dash or dot exe um, just change the 64 to a 32 so wolf wolf new order underscore x32 dot exe i've actually heard that it doesn't matter what you change it to as long as you don't leave it 64 i changed it to 32 so i know that worked for me um, a lot of people on ATI are saying it worked for them, and uh, so I wanted to test it on video, and it worked just fine. So um, here, I am going to go ahead and resume. I won't play much because uh, I'm doing a video series on this. Um, but let's see how my frames look and how I'm running here. Now, uh, it's not going to look as good on YouTube either because my recording software caps my YouTube vids at 30 frames per second, but uh, I can tell you I have a, a counter running and I'm running 44 right now frames per second. Um, 46, 47, I don't have V-Sync on, but I'm, I'm hovering between 45 and 50 frames per second right now, basically. Um, it's not, not bad at all. Uh, I'm in kind of a slow part of the game, I guess. I don't know if I can go any faster here, but um, that's kind of cool. Uh, but for, mo for most of the game, it's awesome. That's the lowest I've seen myself drop, and I dropped to 36 frames per second right there during that scene. Okay, down here. Yeah, for the most part, I'm staying uh, above 40 frames per second. A lot of times, uh, actually, this is one of the more graphic intense scenes because a lot of times during the game, I was staying above 50 during the regular scenes. Anyway, just wanted to show you a little bit that the, the graphics do run smooth like this. And like I said, I I came from five frames per second, and all, uh, and, and that was on the lowest settings. And all I did was change the name of that file, and I was able to turn settings up to medium high and run a decent amount of frames. Um, anyway, I hope this helps people out. Once again, just go to the executable file sorry, and change it from Wolf New Order underscore X64 XEXE to X32 EXE. That's all you have to do. Um, I can't guarantee this will work for everybody. I don't know why it works, but uh, a lot of people are reporting it did, and it definitely worked wonders for me. I mean, it's night and day, and I can actually play the game now. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope this helps.